Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a awesome kind of glass haul from an auction that Eric went to. So Eric went to this amazing glass auction and he came home with a lot of goodies. So I was so excited about it. Um, he got some stuff for me um, and then obviously some stuff to sell. I think he paid around $800 for everything. Um, this is not all of it. There is more stuff and it's not not all listed yet but I just really wanted to make a haul because I was so giddy about some of these pieces there's some swung vases there's some fairy lamps so I'm just gonna get straight into it I'll let you guys know what was listed what wasn't listed what's not necessarily getting listed and go from there all right so the first thing and I'm gonna tell you the story first and then I will share with you the item so first things first, uh, there, if you guys know, I have one Viking Owlglass fairy lamp. It's a green one and it was for myself when I purchased it. I got it at an antique store and um, I've been on the lookout for a red version. So a red one came up at a local auction house and I bid on it um, as high as what one was listed on eBay because I figured, well, at least I won't have to pay a shipping cost. You know what I mean? I still didn't win the dang thing, <laughs> even at the price, the eBay price. So obviously someone else out there that was at the auction wanted it hopefully for themselves because I mean, why would they have paid the eBay price then? Um, so I was pretty bummed about that because I've been wanting to rent one for Christmas. Guess what, guys? I got a red one. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited about this. So here's my red one. Um, he's going to go out um, for Christmas, my Christmas decorating, and amongst my Christmas decorating. So another little story about this. So at this auction, I didn't go along with Eric. I did. I typically do like all the research for telling like what Eric to bid on and for how much and yada, yada, yada. So, and then he typically goes to the auctions. Um, so he went, I wasn't with him, apparently at this auction, um, they didn't have room for all of the glass. I mean, it was just an insane amount of just gorgeous vintage glass pieces there. Um, so anything that they couldn't fit inside was kind of just thrown outside in boxes. So... I don't know if people didn't realize this, but you know, Eric has no problem digging around in boxes. I encourage him to always dig around in boxes because that's where the treasures are because not everyone likes to do that, right? Lo and behold, the box had this in it that was outside, but that's not all that was in that box. Oh no, oh no. There was also an amber owl fairy lamp in that box so again i don't have an amber one he's gonna go out probably in my fall decorating so now i have a red one and a green one for christmas and an like amber colored one for fall but that wasn't all that was in that box oh no there was also a green one so i already have a green one so i did list this one i don't need two green ones so this one was listed these guys are pricey, let me tell you. This one here I have listed as a buy it now for $169.99 and it is the cheapest one available. So in that box, I mean there was some other stuff in that box as well, but all three of these owl fairy lamps were just thrown in that box. Thank goodness there's nothing wrong with any of them. Um, he paid $25 dollars for the entire box i mean score of the century there like he was in all i was in all i'm still in all i mean i couldn't touch that red fairy lamp for over a hundred dollars and i get a whole box of three for 25 bucks like it's just insane it is so insane and had these owls been on a tray in that auction house I wouldn't have been able to touch them in there either. Well, I mean, I probably could, but I would have been paying top dollar, I would say, for those because a lot of the glass, especially like the swung vases, were going at a really 
decent clip. So, like I said, we paid $800 for everything. Alright, so I have more fairy lamps and things of that nature to share with you. So here's another fairy lamp that he won. And some of these weren't necessarily um, pieces that he won individually. They were on trays with other pieces. So this one here is, this one here is an Indiana Diamond Point Amber Fairy Lamp. So I actually have two of these available. There were two on the tray and I listed these as a buy it now for $22.99 a piece. I also have this Amber Fenton Hobnail Fairy Lamp. This one here I have listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This one, I'm not sure who made it. It's a really unique design though. Um, kind of reminds me almost like a teepee. I don't know. It's just really cool looking. It is amber colored. I listed this one here um, for a buy it now of $29.99. Uh, this here is a Fenton Lotus. I'm pretty sure this is like a candle holder. Um, this one is a blue one. I have this listed as a buy it now for $24.99. And then I also have this one here, which is a clear one. And this one I have listed as a buy it now for $15.99. This next piece is also Fenton. This is a Fenton Carnival Glass um, Hen on a Nest like that. Very, very pretty. I love the colors on this. This one here we have listed as a buy it now for $52.99. I got another fairy lamp. This one is an L.E. Smith Daisy and Button Amber Fairy Lamp. This one here we have listed as a buy it now for $69.99. Another fairy lamp. This one is a Fenton. They call this design the pineapple heart. And this, the Fenton pineapple heart pieces. I once sold a fairy lamp. I think it was like an iridescent colored one for really good money. And this one also was worth money. This one here I have listed as a buy it now for $99.99. Another Fenton fairy lamp. This one is a blue hobnail. Uh, this one I have listed as a buy it now for $49.99. Got this Westmoreland slag glass. Uh, these are like doves, little kissing doves on a nest. This one here I have listed as a buy it now for $54.99. I have these two Viking glass candle holders. They call this design the bullseye. These can be really good. Um, the amber colored one I have listed uh, as a buy it now for $69.99. And then there's like this more like orange colored one. I also have this one listed as a buy it now for $69.99. Also come in much larger um, sizes and I'm pretty sure I have a large one as well <laughs> that we haven't gotten to that box yet. Um, let's see, I also got this vase. This one is by Westmoreland. It's an absolutely beautiful like lilac -y purple opalescent hobnail vase and this one here we have listed as a buy it now for $59.99. I have two of these Fenton, they call these, um, this design Lily of the Valley and these are called handkerchief vases. So this one is like a lighter blue opalescent color. This one I have listed as a buy it now for $42.99 also have a darker blue also Fenton Lily of the Valley handkerchief vase and this one is listed just a little bit more at $48.99 and I actually have two of these a Viking diamond point green fairy lamps um, so there were two on the tray that he won and I already have one listed. So I literally have three of these fairy lamps and they're all listed as a buy it now for $69.99. 
All right, and then for fun, um, he did win some swung vases. He won this one here, which is a nice amberina. And here's what the bottom looks like. So really pretty. Um, I don't have these listed. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be listing these on eBay or if we're going to save them for a potential antique booth. I know I keep saying that. Um, one of these days soon, we're actually going to go um, talk to another antique mall and put our name in there as well because we really just want to get into an antique booth. And then he also won this monster one as well. So there were a lot of swung vases I would have loved to have, uh, but they were just going too close to the amount that I was willing to pay um, to sell them for. So people, I'm assuming, were probably buying for themselves at that point. But did get a couple, and this was one of them. So that is pretty much everything for now. Like I said, there is more glass coming, so I'm sure you will see it in another haul of just lots of the rest of the glass goodies that we won. So, oh my gosh, I love this kind of stuff. Like it brings me so much joy. Um, so I love it just like even passing through my hands type of thing. Cause obviously I can't keep it all, but I, I can I can smuggle in smuggle in a couple pieces like the owl fairy lamps. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. You had to let me know what you thought down in the comments, what your favorite piece was, uh, and all of that good stuff. So hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.